All right, let's take a look at using the hundreds chart to subtract. So if I had 46 minus, let's say, 22, I'm going to start at 46. It's the same idea as with the addition. So we'll decompose our subtrahend. It's going to be 20, two tens, and two for two ones. Instead of, uh, you know, plus 10, obviously I'm going to be subtracting 10. So 46 minus 10 gives me 36, minus another 10 uh, for my 20, give me 26, minus 1, and minus 2. So 46 minus 22 is going to equal 24. All right, let's try another. Let's say we want to do 81 minus, let's say, 37. So again, I'll start at 81. Let's decompose 37. It's 3 tenths, going to be worth 30. And then 7 ones. So I have minus 10, minus 20, minus 30. And then I need to take away 7 ones. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 81 minus 37 equals 44. And we solved this problem, uh, these problems using our hundreds charts.